this is a very exciting delivery that has just come today. Um, I've been wanting one of these for a little while. It was a bit of a risky buy because I'm not sure whether it's going to work for what I am going to use it for. Um, but let's open it up and then I'll show you what it is. That's not a kitty box, I don't know what is. What's this? Is it? Can I turn these off for you? What's this? So it's gonna to have to go on these shelves because I've got a feeling that I'm obviously gonna need my computer. So it's gonna to have to go in the office rather than my studio. So I'm hoping. And they will plug in. But I mean that seems to fit like a glove and I know it comes out like this. So we'll see if that works. Okay, so I think I have set this up correctly. I've got the little registration marks and everything, and I've got the trace marks on the on the screen. So now I'm just gonna load this for the first time. So I believe I think. <laughs> um, and then I believe. And then I believe I just pressed. Okay, so I have had one successful run with the paper, so I had a bit of a carry on with the, where I've put it because I didn't realise it needed so much space at the back, um, so I'm having to pull the shelves out a little bit, plus this wire is too small and yeah, I just had a few technical difficulties, um, but I'm really happy with the, they've come out now on plain paper, so I'm going to give it another few goes and then try it with the stick and stitch paper. Okay, so I'm just about to use the stick and stitch paper for the first time. I've managed to print it all well and all the registration marks have come out fine and it's all on the mat and everything. But I am really nervous. I have a feeling it's not going to work. <laughs> but let's go, let's try. So 
as you can see the calibration was off a bit um, it wasn't cut didn't cut them as nicely as the, the paper but I'm gonna keep trying I think it's gonna work and um, if the cut lines seem really like they seem fine I don't think I'm gonna have a trouble with like fluffiness or it's sticking or anything um, so yeah I think it's gonna work I think it's just gonna take a bit of experience and practice to make sure all the settings are right but yeah I'm excited it took way less time than me cutting them out by hand so this is the second time I've cut it and it's cut out really well so I think I've got all the settings good now so yeah I'm really happy with it now this is gonna save me way more time so I just wanted to show you what some of these mystery boxes that I've been making up so as I'm making quite a new products recently, um, these are mystery grab boxes. I also have grab bags, which are similar, um, but I'll show you those in a second. But this is just a few of the mystery boxes that I've made. So you will get a project bag. It will either be like a cube bag like this, or you will get a zip bag um, and you will get a tote bag. So as you can see, there's a few different designs. You will get a, st a random stick and stitch pack and then you will either get a seam ripper or you'll get a pack of bobbins and then you will get three different needle minders. So they're all different. So these are, to these are totally mystery. So those are the sort of some examples. I'm also doing bags. So these involve a tote bag, two sticking stitches, three needle minders again, and a key ring. So you'll either get this key ring or you will get an embroidered key ring. One like this, and I'm also doing um, mystery grab bag for just stick and stitches too. So you'll get two random, two or, I think it's two, two or three random mystery, uh, mystery stick and stitch packs. So those are my mystery grab boxes, bags, and stick and stitch packs. So please go check them out. They are, they are great value for money and I've only got so many of each one. So yeah, let me know what you think. So I decided to get a new wall calendar and this cal calendar is slightly different to my old one. Um, this one is a academic calendar so it goes from July this year to June next year. So the idea behind this is I am now starting to do a lot more in-person workshops which I am so super excited about. Um, if you'd seen my last vlog, you'll have seen that I ran one in that, which was so fun. Everybody had so much fun and it was just really nice to get back into teaching again. So I have now organised some more new in-person workshops. They are around Newcastle. I am working on, hopefully in the future, doing some online workshops. So if you can't travel or go to Newcastle, there will be some more online workshops coming soon. I am working on the setup for that one, um, but yeah, that's just going to take a bit of technical help probably from my husband <laughs> um, to help set that up. Um, but this calendar is good in the sense that like, I'm going to be more forward planning. So I've planned quite a few workshops up until Christmas now, and I'm hopefully going to be planning some more in a month or two, sort of for the new year, maybe after January. But if you are interested and you can travel to Newcastle, they are all on my website and um, there's still quite a few spaces on some of them. Some of them are starting to fill up so please go check them out and if you want to see or hear about new workshops being announced please go and sign up to the newsletter. All the information will be there and I will release the dates and times and places through the newsletter first. I do try and put stuff on Instagram. I'm super excited to start doing workshops again and this calendar is super helpful and I can plan it out in the future. So hopefully I'll see you soon at a workshop.
So I really like these little simple pockets because I think you can make them, I did them separate so that you can make them however you like. So you can do it like so they're walking or like, you know, you could join like more together so you could create like a long path or you could just do it like so they're like together. But yeah, I think these are really cute. So I just wanted to give you a bit of an update. So as you can see from this video, I have been sort of experimenting with using the Silhouette machine for cutting my stick and stitches, which has turned out really well. But um, what I've decided is I'm going to be trying to turn these into wholesale products. So I am developing a stick and stitch kit, which I'm very excited about. Um, I often get asked sort of like suggestions for colours and stitches if you you know if you've got a stick and stitch pack what colours and stitches do you, is best to use or is just suggestions so I thought this was a really good way to sort of help people who maybe need a little bit more help in that way it'll involve you know all the things that you would need in a kit to do stick and stitches um, I am waiting for a delivery though for some bigger cones of thread um, this will mean that you won't get the full skeins in so it helps in the sense of like it keeps it at a lower cost so that you can still get all the colours and have a go and yeah I'm really excited about it so that is what I'm doing at the moment I'm also working on a lot of things at the moment I am extremely busy um, I'm working on launching a Patreon soon um, 1st of September hopefully so but that is yet to be confirmed because I still have a lot of work to do for that and yeah I'm just doing a lot right now and I'm loving it it's great to see the progress of things but I am working on um the idea of instead of cutting them all out like individually as you've seen um they would come like on an A5 sheet the same size um but they wouldn't be cut so then you would just have to cut them out yourself which I don't think would be a problem um, for most people. I think having them cut is just kind of nice little luxury. They look a bit nicer. Um, but the idea is if I give you them in an A5 sheet, you can cut the ones you want um, and just use them that way. It'll just make it easier for me doing them wholesale. It'll be a quicker process, which means it'll be cheaper. So um, that is what I'm working on at the moment. Putting all that together, all the wholesale. I've been working on my website. My website's a lot more better now. I now offer national shipping on my website, which is huge. So if you haven't already checked it out, please go check it out and see what you think. Let me know what you think. And yeah, I just wanted to give you a bit of an update. Um, please sign up to the newsletter if you want to know when the Stick and Stitch kits go live. I am also working on a collection of three other, like just embroidery kits, um, which is part of a collection I'm releasing. And yeah, so please sign up to the newsletter. Please subscribe just to keep yourselves updated and know when all these things are getting released. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.